All right, good Monday morning, Labor Day, by the way. Um, so for all you blue-collar workers out there that are busting your ass every day trying to make a living, happy Labor Day. Um, the rest of you freeloading cocksuckers out there, you can go fuck yourselves. I don't think there's too many of them that watch my channel, but if, you, if there is, you know who you are, you can go kiss my ass. Um, so, I'm going to do a quick video on the fucking CoolBot installation here. So this is our controller. Pretty fucking simple. Um, you got two blue temp wires. One's for the fucking fins in the uh, air conditioner. The other one's for the room temp. And they're just labeled accordingly. There's no difference in the in the probe. Um, just a little fucking oh, sensor on the end. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? That was good, Rick. Huh? So, yeah. They plug in like, like so. This is your power supply. That's your heater. And you can have that jumper if uh, you have the external um, temp sensor that, or the readout that goes on the outside of the building. I do have that, but I'm not going to install it yet. I mean later. So, it's pretty simple. Your, your fins probe goes up, and they want to put it right in the bottom of your coil between the first and the second uh, um, tube from the bottom. That's where you're going to get your most adequate. The heater side, this is your heater side. This is the other probe. That's the black wire. It's got the red end on it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, fucking Rona. Um, I'm kidding. This is the temp sensor from the air conditioner that would have been clipped into these uh, little fucking plastic doohickeys. Over that was your fucking condenser or evaporator temp sensor before. So you want to put that heater on there and wrap it with that uh, foil tape that they give you. I also added a little bit of backup tin foil to it because the little tiny piece of foil tape they gave you wasn't very good. So, And we tucked that back over there because that needs to act against the, that um, evaporator sensor to heat that thing up and, think, and make the air conditioner think that it's still hot in here. That's what basically puts that thing into overdrive. And then uh, this has the room temp sensor. You want to make sure when you secure this that it's not touching something. So you want to be getting air temp, you know, for that much of it. You want to put it out in the air because you want you, if it's touching this and this is cooler than the air temp, you're in, in trouble. So you want to make sure you're measuring air temperature. Plug it in, turn it on. We'll do all that later. I got to throw the first piece of the floor in here, and then I got to put in a put a hole in. We're going to put an outlet in there, and then we're going to put a floor drain in as well. And then we'll finish the inside of this son of a bitch. I'm going to get the fucker fired up, and we're going to see if it'll work. So I got to get to work. All right. Let's open this thing up. The uh, cool bot and air conditioner installation is complete. I brought in a fucking a line with some uh, plastic conduit wired in a steel box. Um, you have to put the outlet in upside down, FYI. Put the outlet in upside down because that way your power cord drops down and loop it back, zip tie it real nice, kind of clean. One thing I'm going to complain about here, um, I don't like this on the cool bot. Look at these things. They just fall the fuck out of there. Look at, look at that one. I just bumped it and fold the fuck out of there. Um, I'm going to bitch about that because you're bouncing in and out of here and you don't pay attention to those fucking connections. That son of a bitch will fall out of there and this thing will shut down on you. So um, I'm going to have to probably put a little something in there to secure those fucking wires up because they'll literally just fall the fuck out. I mean, there's nothing holding the fucking things in there. There's no resistance to it. So I'm actually going to email them or call them or whatever. And ask him about that, because that's kind of horseshit. Just my opinion. Um, that's why I tried to make sure the wires were looped in a manner that kind of holds it in there. If you were, if you had your cool bot up above your air conditioner, shit's probably not going to work. Um, it's going to pull the damn things out of there. So, I don't know. Not, not, uh, not real fucking impressed there. But, 
it's not something that I can't overcome. If nothing else, I put a little eyelet up here, tie all, those, tie all those together, and then put something in there to hold all those fucking wires in place. But shouldn't have to do that shit. That's just a fucking engineering flaw. They made the fucking sockets too big for the um, the peg, so or the peg too small for the socket, whatever. I, you know, that shit shouldn't. Uh, you paid decent money for that fucking thing. It shouldn't be like that. Anyway. I'll send them this fucking link, too, because uh, they need to do something about that. I know a lot of people make these coolers. They pull them down the fucking road running on a generator or something. That shit won't work. I'll tell you right now. Um, next step in this, in here is get the rest of this floor in and these two pieces of the liner. And we're fucking done. I was going to put a floor drain in here, but I don't know what the fuck I did with it, so I can't size the hole for it. Whatever. That's a, That can be an afterthought. It's not the end of the world if I don't have a floor drain in right now. We'll get those three pieces put in, and then uh, we'll silicone around all the edges. This fucker's good to go. We're going to go uh, get the flail chopper out of the way. That's the aftermath of pressing cider last night, by the way. Uh, we'll go out here, get that shit box out of the way, and we're going to drag this fucker outside and plug it in. And then uh, later on, we're going to throw the roof on it and wrap the outside with... Uh, uh, house wrap so yeah come on back we'll catch up with you in a bit all right well there you go fucking insides done i mean complete complete we got the uh, seam right there you see the fucking seam silicone the seam all the way around the bottom <whistles> everything should be fucking Tight and right in here. So, the only thing I don't have is a fucking door handle because it's in my tractor. I uh, picked it up when I drove a tractor to work the other day and I forgot to grab it the other night and put it in the truck. So, um, I'm going to let this silicone dry for a little bit anyway before I test fire this thing. So, I'm going to go rake the hay that I got down and then we'll uh, come back and I think we're going to actually test fire this fucker on live stream. So, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, I need to get this fucker pulled outside. I gotta throw the roof sheeting on it yet, and maybe some steel. I don't fucking know. We'll see how the day goes. Um, but I gotta go rake that hay for right now, do a couple of chores before I go, and I'll get the hell out of here. But do you guys like what we're doing? There's that fucking thumb thing down there. Hit that son of a bitch and that subscribe button if you haven't. And if you didn't ring the fucking bell, I don't ring yours, god damn it. So, we'll uh, catch back with, up with you on the fucking next one. Alright, so we're on our uh, maiden test voyage here. If you look closely, you can see. 58, 59, 57. We got a program for 38 degrees right now. We're going to go ahead and close this thing up. We're going to come back in a little while and see what the hell's going on. So, we'll see what happens. So, yeah. We're down to 40. I opened the door, so it was at 38, but it's a fucking beer cooler now, boys. <laughs>